with Greg Nicotero, the legendary special effects artist. You were very well known for, of course, The Walking Dead now as co-executive producer, director, and special effects artist. It's one of my favorite shows. Um, and today you're giving out makeovers or make unders rather. Yes, yes. We're uh, you know we wanted to give everybody a variety of looks, so we prepared a vampire, a mummy, a zombie, a Frankenstein, and even uh, in the background you see we got that skinned guy. This was actually originally created for Grindhouse. There's a scene where Quentin Tarantino gets injected and he starts melting. And we wanted to do something where the skin melted away, revealing that. So uh, we kind of built all this cool stuff. Can you talk to me a little bit about the physics of a walker's body? Because sometimes it seems like they're very, very strong, but other times their heads are so smashable. Well, you know, we kind of look at it as like a pumpkin. You know, if a pumpkin, if you get a pumpkin, it's kind of fresh. You're not going to be able to squish it very well. But if it's sitting on your front porch for a couple of weeks, then it kind of explodes pretty easily. So we've always, we've always figured that that's the deal, is that you can hit some of them are a little harder and some of them are a little softer, but usually the ones that are super rotted, they, they go pretty quick. What's the shelf life? Shelf life, I don't know. I mean, we're, we're on the show, we're a year and a half in and they're still walking around. So We haven't gone to that point yet where they expire, expire. No, but you know, that's an interesting point because we have played with the idea on the show that they go dormant. In uh, there was an episode... In the cafe. In the cafe. And I remember having a big discussion with Scott Kimple and I said, I don't understand why they're just sitting around. They're, why, are they, why would they be dormant? He said, well, they haven't eaten for a while and there's nothing that's sort of piquing their interest. So we, we play around with that. You know, I mean, listen, our rules are uh, because they're based on the traditional zombie rules, but they have a little bit of flexibility because it is our show. Um, so the idea, even in the first episode ever, the zombies that are sitting on the bus, and they sort of get up and they're attracted to the sound of, of Rick Grimes on the horse. So we play around with dormant walkers a little bit, but not too much because then they're, my, my response was, Oh, well then you could just sneak, sneakily walk through the room as long as you don't make any noise, they won't hear you. Tell me more about what's going on out here, the fan experience you wanted to create. Yeah, you know, I mean, I, I used to go to conventions when I was a kid. I love the interaction. Um, so, you know, I got approached by Courtyard and they said, listen, we're really interested in doing a fan experience and have you talk about what you love to do and do a little bit of a little bit of makeup transformation. I was excited about doing it. I've never done anything like this before. So this is kind of it's kind of the first thing for me. So each one is about 45 minutes. Yeah. I mean Frankenstein's a little bit longer cuz it's a, a bit more elaborate. Um, but yeah, we we pre-painted all the pieces so you can see the veins and and some of the shadowing. I mean, it's all painted ahead of time. If we just took the raw pieces and glued them on, then it would take a lot longer. So we tried to get it so that everything was pre-painted and done in advance, uh, just to make it go a little quicker. So we're here at Courtyard at Comic-Con for the complete makeover or make-under experience from Greg Nicotero and other special effects artists. And you didn't always look like this, but how does it feel under all that? Well, I'm thankful for the improvement. No. <laughs> well, it, it, it doesn't feel bad. Actually, it's not as hot as I thought it would be. I've watched him do this on TV so many times, it's exciting to actually have it done on me. How, oh I'm really blown away by it. Are you going to walk around after this and scare people now? Well, I don't know if I'll scare people because it's kind of normal for this environment. But it's going to be fun to actually be dressed up as something different and exciting. When I was a kid, Craig was talking about, um, Greg was talking about how he liked monsters when he was a kid. So did I. So this is exciting.